Hello. Hey. Có gì mà mà? Hả? Nhớ có gì mà mà? Can you speak English? Oh yeah, I can. But what did you say? I thought you were speaking um Chinese. Yeah, I was speaking Chinese. For some reason, I thought you were in China. Oh, I'm not in China. Wait, did you speak? Where are you now? Did you just speak Chinese? Yeah, I speak fluent Chinese. Wait, what did you say? You 会说英文吗？你会说啊？英文。Do you speak oh, English? Speak it? Oh, okay. You know what? I'm yeah. learning Chinese now. So you're learning Chinese now. Yes. Why do you want to learn Chinese? Um, I want to challenge myself. Hmm. Impressive. It's your first time using this uh this platform. No, I use it a lot actually. Okay. So what do you do on here? Do you just talk to people? Get to meet new people? Uh, or... talk to talk to people. Practice English. Uh, try to see if I can use Chinese, and I'm actually making content for Thai people. Like, uh, okay, yeah, is it okay for you? So you're from Thailand? Oh uh, yes. You're from Thailand. We have. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. What does it say on, on your video quality is really great? It says you're in China right now. What? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You using a VPN or something? Yes, I'm using a VPN and I put it as in the states. <laughs> yeah, it says you're in China. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's fine. What kind of content do you create? Uh, talk to strangers, just like this, so people okay. can learn English. All right. Mm. So, do you find it very easy to start up a conversation with a, with a strange person? Uh, for me. Uh -huh. uh, it is okay. I mean, I I am used to it. Oh, you're used to it. Yeah. Recently, I've been reading a book. Always know what to say, and uh, it's kind of difficult to practice what is in that book because I'm that kind of person who is not really good at starting a conversation, especially you know, meeting strangers is a very difficult thing. Uh -huh. So I'm just here trying to practice what I learned from that book. Ah, uh, okay. What What did you learn from that book? Sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, what did you learn from that book? Well, it's just trying to deal with your fears of maybe meeting new people and uh, being afraid of uh, being rejected. It's just a lot of fears that we have to face each time we want to start a conversation with anyone. You know. I know, I know. I mean, I was that person. What is that? I don't know. It feels like a glitch or something. I can hear some, some, some noise. What kind of noise? I don't know. Like a ghost? No, it's just like someone is speaking or someone is talking around around you. I think it should be an echo. Oh really? <laughs> I don't know. There's a chance that it's an echo because I'm alone at home. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Uh, I was that person before. I didn't know how to start a conversation, mm -hmm. and I was shy. I was mm -hmm. not like confident enough to. To like to talk to new people because I was afraid that mm -hmm. like they don't want to talk to me like kind of this you know. Why would anyone not want to talk to you? I don't know. Um, it's because I was born and raised in like Thailand, right? And back then, like it, it's kind of like um the society that you have to be skinny, you have to be white, and you are beautiful in that way, you know. Uh, mm. But I've been in Thailand before, and that's not what I found out. Oh, you have been here for like studying, or no? I actually, just came as a tourist for a little oh. bit for about two weeks, and then I left. Been to Chiang Mai, to Bangkok, and to Pattaya. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, I had a good experience actually, except for this for the sweet food. No, for for the what? <laughs> sweet food. Oh, sweet food! Yeah, we eat sweet yeah. and spicy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, know. I had a difficult time with that. You know, where I come from, there is mostly spicy and uh, salty food. So when it becomes sweet, I really cannot take it. Uh, wait, where where are you from? Oh, are you from Hong Kong or? I'm Cameroonian. Uh, where is that? I'm sorry. Cameroon is in uh, West Africa. 
ah. Central West Africa. If Cameroon. Yeah. So, are you in Hong You've Kong? You've been in Africa before. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've never. You're asking if I'm in Hong Kong right now? Ah uh, yes. No, it's just a VPN. I'm actually in China. Oh, okay. Yeah. So why are you in China? Well, I came here for studies. Like university, like this? Yeah, yeah, actually, to do my post uh, graduate studies. Post graduate. Yeah. Is it a degree or no? Yeah, post graduate is a degree. It could be a master's degree or a PhD program as well. But I finished my master's by 2020. Ooh. So I started off a PhD and you know. Oh, right now you are doing like a PhD. So yeah. Oh wow wow nice. What 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 are you studying? What about you? Agricultural mechanization engineering. I don't really know that, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens back home if you tell any grandparent or any elderly per- person that you're studying agricultural mechanization engineering. They all assume that you're about going to work in the farm. Okay, I'm trying to understand like the major that you are studying. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> okay, it's something about. Okay, let me put it in easier terms. It's. Mm, I know. I didn't catch that. Can you say it again? Oh uh, no! Uh, I am trying to understand the the major that you are studying right now. <laughs> What I got is that engineering right. thing. <laughs> Mechanical. I'll put it in an easy way. There is a combination of mechanical, electrical, and civil engineering mm. applied in the agricultural field. Wow. Okay. Um, so about me myself, uh, I did a degree in uh-huh. in IT, but right now I work okay. as a freelancer, like teaching English. So that's why I also make content, and my student can you know learn from my content as well. All right. Where do you publish your content? Popular. Nothing is hot. Where do you publish your content? Oh, when? Um. Where? Where? Oh, where? What platform do you save your content? I'm sorry. Is where? Uh, YouTube, TikTok, just two platforms. All right. What's your YouTube? I could go and subscribe to your channel. Yeah. Thank you so much in advance. But it's not big though. Sure. But I'm enjoying doing it. Well, big things come from small things. I mean, um, I I wanted to make YouTube like uh, a long time ago, but you know, as I I was shy, I was not uh, confident enough, and for some reason, mm-hmm. and I didn't start it. But as I am a freelancer now, I have like kind of free time, so I just do it. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's why. At least, whereas when I see someone who is self motivated, it's actually really impressive, you know. Mm. Uh, wait, can I ask about like uh, did you mention about something about Chinese? Yeah. Did you learn Chinese by yourself, or did you take uh, lessons? Well, there is this thing here in China. You get you just start. There. You have about three months to learn Chinese with a teacher. If you finish with that and you want to continue learning, then you could contract a personal teacher. Else, you just have to do some practice and you know. Mm. In China, there is the environment. You have a lot of Chinese people around. Mm. Step out, yeah. and you could talk to a million Chinese without even knowing. So, yeah. you just do that over and over and over, and you pick up the words. Yeah, start using those words to make sentences and to speak Chinese. Yeah, I mean, it's better if I learn Chinese and I am in China, but um, I Absolutely. need to pay extra though. So. Yeah, of course. If you're in China, you wouldn't really need a teacher because yeah. it's easier for you to learn a language like babies do learn. And, you know, just be in that environment, listen to people talk, practice what they're saying, repeat it even if you don't know what you're saying, and you'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean, as I said, I just want to uh, challenge myself, so I study uh, by myself. So let's see if okay. I can get that. <laughs> So what have you gotten from your challenge so far? Have you learned any uh, okay, so usable Chinese so far? Um, I've been learning like for about three months, uh, two months actually. I know pinyin. Um, I know how to say like uh, this is what, this is that. Uh, my mm. mom is, my dad is, my friend is. This is my friend. Uh, what is your name? That's it. All right. Mm. It's a good, it's a good takeoff spot, you know. 
I mean like uh, I can uh, understand like grammar but I know it's, it's a lot so I have to memorize a lot and about the vocabulary yeah. as well because like I'm the person that I don't like to memorize like vocabulary like uh, read 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 mm-hmm. like this but I can memorize it from when I study Memorizing vocabulary has it ever helped anybody to learn a language because the vocabulary you, you memorize doesn't necessarily give you a platform to use it. You know, many people don't use maybe you're gonna meet people who don't use the kind of vocabulary that you've picked up. And who says maybe you pick up words that it's difficult to use in daily life, so mm. it's not even a point trying to memorize them. Just use what everybody's using and that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what so everybody I mean. yeah. Mm. But yeah, let's see. Well, uh, I feel so happy to have met you. Since I got on here this afternoon, you're the only person who's been sane. <laughs> <laughs> the others are just, you know, yeah, having, know. Uh, mm. yeah. And well, it's nice to meet you, and I wish you, I wish you good luck with your challenge and uh, aims. And I'm gonna go and subscribe to your YouTube channel, and uh, yeah, hope to see some of your content in future. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the yeah, nice sure. talk. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye-bye.